because the uh, hitbox comes out before usually the grab hitbox comes out. And even if it does, it, it, even if it, it, it's a very short window to actually, to actually grab it because then it's also in the air. So it's hard to grab at the beginning. <laughs> so you have to time the center very closely. Yeah. But anyway, we're not talking about Scissor War Guard Shop. We got we're Dark Rising Champs on the screen. <laughs> Spooky muscles. Let's yeah. kill. Or is it edgy muscles? I don't know. I don't know, what paper she knows. <laughs> <laughs> but, um... Didn't you say the projectile no. breaking it through the, uh, the traps uh, with the hands and stuff? Mm -hmm. Yeah, those traps are very, very weak projectiles. <laughs> They're very similar to blue dot ice traps. Ooh! Ooh! Alright, so, one thing I will notice that Pana does grab a lot with Dark Rain. And Dark Rain is usually considered to have one of the worst grabs. Not just, like, in terms of, like, damage like that. But in terms of, that's not the no. game plan. <laughs> Yeah. Because you, you more so want to put in all this work and set your traps. The minute you grab, you just get rid of all your work. Yeah. So. Yeah. I, especially if you had Nightmare. Uh, yeah. If you didn't have Nightmare, that's so it wouldn't be. It wasn't too bad. Yes. But in Nightmare, grabbing is the last thing you want to do. Right, right. You lose so much advantage. So the counterattacks are working out here, but I will note he had the opportunity to even just do like a 2x instead. Mm -hmm. um, which 2x would have set up trap work um, mm -hmm. with a new phase, which is. Set up the Dark Pulse charge. Mm -hmm. which, I'm not sure. I, I don't follow Dark Cry, but I like, watch a lot of games Dark Cry. I don't know how important it is to keep your Dark Pulse charge up. Because I know it's a very easy thing to work around, like the big old brain that's like invincible. But I know like it, it closes off an option. I think that's like it's not meant to be like oh this is my it's a, my trump card. It's literally like you can't jump here without me activating this right now. I feel like it's like something that like the uh, the fear of you having it is more useful than actually using it. Yeah. yeah. All right, so we got some nice comments here from Sky Raisin. But ooh, ooh. don't counter. Do set. not do that. That's a lot of people do. Now, in case out. you didn't know, um, just kind of like ooh, on the subject of 5x, you can actually jump out of um, 5x the second hit if you time it right. Huh. Um, it's um, weird timing. It's some kind of you can't kind of jump forward or backward. But it's a weird thing. We can sometimes jump out. So it's not like a true unless it's really meaty. Oh, oh man, this is a mission. No, honestly. Pekano was doing like really, really well with that match, uh, just trying to keep him out and trying to work away, but unfortunately that submission worked out. Yeah, that's all you need. Yeah. It's a champ. So, it gets a pull on right there, but... Alright, yeah. that works. Usually I didn't I mean, quite work. Yeah. yeah. I was like, I a whole lot of damage, but it puts him right against the corner and keeps the champ close. That's why it's such a good option. Nice block. Ah, that was... That was a fight boy thing, was it? Was it? I, I think it was because he he went into a uh, card trap. Oh, that was really punchable, but Skyrim was a bit slow on that. It goes for the burst. Might as well just take the chip. Yeah, he's not in that right now, is he? Uh, no, no he he's just not. That. Oh man. man. So, yeah, that is actually really risky to do. Yeah, it gets like minus 18 or something like that. Yeah. It is really minus. And considering um, a champ's character who has a fast option that's very far reaching, like it's 2x, very risky to do. Very, very. I think that. Oh my gosh, okay, this is so close right now. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, look at that worked out. Okay. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> so yeah, Skyrim's gonna take that first round. We're gonna see the Wakanda Classic where he switches off his character after the first round. Probably, I, I definitely suspect a, a switch to uh, break set at this point. Yeah, because... But I know for sure Breaks is a good matchup against the champ. Dark Rice, I'm so I'm sure Dark Rice still is a good match, but I am kind of more comfortable with Breaks. And... I I don't know. Um, I'm kind of on the long lines of like these matchups are definitely more even because if Sky Reason gets in. He blows people up. It's similar yeah. to the break, uh, breaks and blades game matchup, where it sucks trying to get in. But if we do get in and get hit confirmed, uh -huh. like oof, it hurts. Yeah. Um. See, the thing is, uh, I don't want to get into a huge conversation, but that's not really relevant to the match. But eh, I'll talk about it. But uh, anyways. Ooh, okay. There's a reset right there. Good read. Yeah. 
Cry Drop, even though it doesn't like confirm anything afterwards, it, it gives um, a champion a huge plus and advantage frames for whatever he wants to do. Ooh, nice carry phase. And actually, Robot in that field phase, I, that was actually really smart of Pagano to use that JX, because he saw the counter coming on, and he used it to catch vulnerable frames. <laughs> Risky, but it worked out really yeah, well. Yeah, it has a lot of active hitboxes. Um, so, Terry does have the tokens on the back. You might want to think about using that because there it is. I think he should have used it a little bit earlier because now he's a bit more closer and he could have kind of killed Punch or something. Oh my gosh. Those options are just crazy right now. Yeah, and here comes the burst. I'm pretty sure Sky is expecting it. No burst yet for Sky is in. Oh! Oh, and the flamethrower right there. <laughs> singed. Ah! He's got singed. <laughs> Alright, so. Alright, so. I will say, um. Did you ever see, um. Doubles, like, uh. Special he made about the pros and cons between Fennekin and Umbreon? Yeah, I think I remember seeing that. Yeah. That's a very, it's a very interesting thing. Cause I've been thinking, like, a lot more highly of Fennekin, as of late. Um, because. Uh oh. Uh -oh. It, oh, okay. Because Fennekin is just. In my opinion, it's, like, infinitely safer. Like, it's just um, Umbreon's attack is faster and the debuff is the main appeal to it. But also, every other option, Fang can usually covers better. Well, then there's more pushback, even if they do block. More pushback, more chip, uh, faster recharge. Ah, kind of just doing so well right now. Mm -hmm. That's gonna hurt. Yeah, nice attack from Skyways. And I wonder if there's any crazy columns you can do with um, the champ after an attack. You just play it safe with the homing. And Flamethrower, the Flamethrower. Kind of in a really nice situation right now. And he has Burst and Fennekin at the same time. Yep, here's Fennekin. Got the pushback. Oh, that shield is working off of Oh, man. And oh, right there. Kind of able to take a game off of Sky Raisin. Alright. And, like, coming from a PR perspective, I don't always have any, like, leaps and bounds. Player, I think. Honestly, um, I think he's been he's been making a lot of improvements. Um, I think uh, just since Frosty alone. Like I, I know he was uh, kind of practicing with some of the, some of the folks that were there. Um, and like since then, I've, I've seen so many like smart options from the top that have, like definitely been moving out, uh, catching on to habits and stuff. Like and it's it's paying off. He's doing quite well. But I th I've seen the improvement in Brayton um, yeah. in particular. I think the Dark Rank kind of has fallen behind. I think so. There's definitely some work that can be done there. He's, he's not really utilizing the moves, not really doing a lot to get the Nightmare from I feel like um, Kyle's play style more fits the Brayton than does Dark Rank because he still likes to be up close. Like, he likes to dash up grab, he likes to crash up the counter and everything like that. And that's totally against Dark Rank's play style. Dark Rank literally. Cannot play it close. Right, right. And I think Breaks is just a perfect fit for him in that kind of play style because that's kind of what Breaks is. It can work both up close and up. There's a nice confirmed quads boss. Hey guys, can you not do that in your commentary, please? Yeah. What? Right. Right. Uh, a little too early there for the. Uh, oh, that was a little bit very close air drive. Well, dude, that's an interesting choice. He's been using that a lot in a lot of different matchups. Um, it's helped him give him some way to pressure opponents during his approach, which I can really much appreciate. Combo. Now that was smart because he could have kept doing the combo, but that would have done like 11 damage. It's smarter to keep your PSP and um, uh, keep your synergy uh, in case you want to go into burst with it. That's an interesting dynamic. I was... but... Okay, this is close. Uh, that's a your setup. Oh, not in the combo, but so close. Oh my god! Ah! <laughs> Alright, so in this situation, Kano is. Uh, so Kano is gonna win this if it times out. Yep. Oh, there we go. There we go. Uh, so that's a, that situation is a very favorable situation for Brakeson because it's more like a Brakeson gonna get a straight hit in that situation than the champ is. Def definitely. And even if it timed out um, because of health, how it works, uh, Kano would have won. Yeah, because of lower HP. Yeah, so. But kind of like a, oh, what I was saying before, sometimes it's better to um, stop combos where they are, where they like, get the most damage, and just go for a reset instead of just blowing it all and um, just like letting it go for like, oh, a lot more damage. 
That's an always interesting thing though, because I know I have a bad habit of doing that when I could just gain more damage off of just resetting and resetting. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Anyway, Kano has not taken any damage, has taken Skyrison down to half his health. However, Skyrison does have his burst and frog gear at the ready. <laughs> Playing golf. It's interesting what Brace is in this setup because they can chip down to red. No, he obviously they can't store. They can't break it. But they they try to get you close enough to where they can confirm the boomerang. Yep. And that that's what gets the shield break. And if you um, see the scene, they can usually catch you with another one. Uh, yep. It's it's a rough setup. Mm -hmm. Nice yep. block that's a time. Uh, but this might catch him. I don't know. No, oh, he did oh. far reaching one. And oh, oh, the reset. God. Huge damage coming out here. So this guy is in needs. Okay, I guess it wasn't true, but it worked out anyways. It was a really, really good situation here. Just putting out all these things up. This guy has to work through. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh my god, he got the vulnerable frames. That's incredibly difficult to do with that move. Oh my god. There we go. Sorry, all right, I hit the table again. But, uh, <laughs> Um, okay, there we go. Picano takes it 2-1 over Skyrazor. Alright. Really, really good. He's doing exactly what he needs to do in that matchup. Like, setting up all these options, like, using the fat Y. Like, okay, you can't jump, but a fire 